Hey guys, it's me Terry of the Yarn Joy podcast. Welcome back to another tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to make Romeo. <laughs> this is a little scrap yarn worm, <laughs> and the pattern is by uh, Joyce of Lady and Thread, and I will put a link below in the description box where you can download this free pattern. It's such a cute little fun project to work up. It doesn't take hardly any time at all to, to make and uh, it's really fun. And thank you so much Joyce for giving me permission to make tutorial on this little worm. <laughs> okay, so let's get started and I'll show you what uh, the materials and things that you need for to make this project. Okay, so I'm using worsted weight yarn. You can use uh, any size yarn that you want, but just make sure that all the pieces, all the components that you use is the same weight. So if you're gonna use worsted weight yarn, then you want to use all worsted weight yarn for your project. If you wanna use DK weight yarn, then just make sure that all of it's DK weight. Um, anyway, so I've got this big jar here of all these tiny little uh, multicolored, I mean not multicolored, but all different colors of scrap yarn. And so that's what you're wanting is a bunch of little pieces of scrap yarn. It doesn't take hardly any yarn to uh, make each one of these little circles on the uh, worm. Okay, you want to have one color. I'm using this Red Heart Super Saver Buff, but you want to have one color uh, for the head and tail that is uh, separate from the uh, other colors that you're going to use. Okay, um, and then let's see, you're going to need a very small amount of stuffing, not even this much, but it's just a little bit of stuffing to put inside the head of your worm and uh, you could even use it use uh, yarn snippings if you prefer to do that. I'm using a four millimeter crochet hook. Um, the pattern calls for an H crochet hook which would be a five millimeter crochet hook I believe but actually the there is no gauge on this or a gauge is not important there is a gauge I guess but I mean, it's not important depending it just depends on the, the the hook and the yarn that you use so if you're using a lighter weight yarn then of course you would use a probably use a smaller hook uh, just use the hook that you're comfortable using with the particular weight of yarn that you are using okay <laughs> okay, and then you are need, gonna need some scissors and a darning needle. Um, you're going to need uh, some safety eyes. I'm using the six millimeter safety eyes. If you don't want to use safety eyes, then you want a little piece of uh, s some uh, black yarn that you can uh, stitch or embroidery the eyes in. But I'm gonna use these safety eyes here. Uh, you may or may not, depending on if you like using them, need a stitch marker because it's only for the head and the number of stitches that we're counting is a small number. So really, I didn't use a stitch marker, but if you're comfortable using one or you'd rather use one, you can. Uh, let's see. I think that is it. And of course, the pattern. And like I said, I will link in the description box below the free link where you can go and download it okay and then print it out or have it on your phone or electronic device <laughs> okay so I think that is it yeah so let's get started with making our little Romeo <laughs> okay so you're gonna take your hook and you're gonna start with one of your scrap colors okay and you want to uh, attach the yarn to your hook with a slip knot. Slip knot. <laughs> okay. And then you're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. Okay. And then you're going to insert your hook into the first chain that you made. Insert it in there and do a slip knot to form a ring. Okay, and then you're going to chain three. One, two, and three. Okay, now in that ring that we created, okay, we are going to put 11 double crochets, and as we're making them, we want to work over our beginning tail. Okay, 
so work over the top of our beginning tail and put 11 double crochets the chain three that we count we did in the beginning does count as a double crochet and so you will end up actually having 12 double crochets in the ring counting that chain three that we did in the beginning okay so like I said we're working over that beginning tail and we're going to make 11 double crochets 12 counting the chain three in the ring okay so finish making those and I will come back when I have all 11 of mine made okay okay so I got my 11 double crochets made plus the chain three that I started with okay so that would if you count that as a double crochet then you would have 12 double crochets in the ring and now I'm going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three in the, that we did the beginning okay just a slip stitch okay so now I can take my beginning tail if you have any of it start, still sticking out from when you worked over it and just give it a little pull and that'll kind of help uh, tighten up that middle circle you don't want the circle uh, you it doesn't need to be completely closed but you want it to um, you know be be drawn together pretty tightly but and you, we're gonna run yarn through there in the end to put these together so you don't want it you know completely uh, all the way where you can't get anything through it in other words <laughs> okay so that is all of our little discs that we need to make so now I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna fasten off and you do not need a very long tail because all you're gonna do is weave the tail in okay so I'm just going to um, do a chain and then pull it all the way through to fasten off okay so now I'm going to take my yarn needle and I'm going to weave in my ends my beginning tail and my ending tail here so I don't have any um, tails remaining They're just, I'm just going to weave them into my piece just like that okay so let me get finished weaving my tails in and then I will meet you back up in just a few seconds here. <laughs> okay now I got my tails all weaved in and I got the them the tails trimmed okay with my scissors and so this disc here is ready to go okay so now I'm gonna put this aside and I'm going to take and pick up another color pick out another color out of my container here and I'm going to make a total of a ten more of these discs so we want a total of eleven of these little circles okay so um, you can pause the video and um, start working on your other ones and then come back when you have uh, a total of eleven of these okay okay so here I have all eleven of my little discs made okay so now I can put those aside. I've got all the tails, everything weaved in and all the tails trimmed. Okay, so they're ready to go. So now I'm going to set them aside and I'm going to pick up the yarn that I'm going to be using for the head and the tail. And we are going to be making the head next. Okay, so we are going to, for the head and the tail, both of them, they're going to be starting with a magic ring. Okay. Um, if you don't know how to do a magic ring then you can actually you could chain two you know put the yarn on your hook with a slip stitch chain two and then work into that first chain from the hook and um, you can do it that way okay I'm going to go ahead and do the magic ring okay and now I'm going to uh, go on with my uh, in the instructions and it says to chain one and then it says to um, make five single crochets into that ring okay so single crochets one two three four and five okay and so if you were if you chain two and worked in the first chain from the hook instead of doing the magic ring you would do five single crochets into that first chain on your hook okay okay and now I'm going to uh, pull my beginning tail here from my magic ring so to tighten up the circle okay and if you're working in within with a chain two 
starting instead of the magic ring, then you would just, uh, uh, we're not, it's going to be continuous rounds. You're not going to have to join uh, to the beginning stitch. You just um, go on to the next round, okay? So I'm I tightened up my circle on my uh, magic circle, and now I'm ready to go on. And the next round says, we're, and you're not going to join. We're going to do continuous rounds like a, in a spiral. And so in the next round, it says to do two single crochets in each stitch around. And so we will have 10, because right now we have five, we'll have 10 single crochets uh, around our ring, okay, when we get finished, okay, which is the first stitch on the round. And I'm going to do two single crochets into that stitch, one and two, okay. And then two single crochets in each, stitches, each stitch around until we have a total of 10 stitches. So that was one and two, and the next one we're gonna do three and four, okay? And then two in the next one, so that would be five and six, okay? Two in the next one, seven and eight, oops, eight, <laughs> okay? And then two in the next one, nine, and 10 okay so that is the end of round two okay going on to round three we're going to do two single crochets in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next stitch and then we repeat that sequence around and we'll have 15 stitches at the end of this round so in the first stitch we're going to do two single crochets so one and two and then the next one we're just going to do one and that's stitch number three three see that and then the next one we're going to do two of them. So that's continue on counting. That's four and five. And the next one we're going to do one, which is stitch number six. Okay? Hope that makes sense. <laughs> and the next one we're going to do two. So that's seven and eight. And the next one we're going to do one. And that's stitch number nine. The next one we're going to do two, ten, and eleven. The next one we're going to do one, which is stitch 12. The next one we're going to do two, 13 and 14. And then the last stitch we're going to do one, and that will make stitch number 15. And you should have 15 stitches all the way around your circle, okay? Okay, so that's as big as we're going to get it. Now we're going to start decreasing. Oh no, sorry. In the next round we're going to do just one stitch around, okay? And this one is where you could you could use a stitch marker, you know, make your first stitch like that. And then put the stitch marker in that first stitch so that way you'll know when to stop. And you're just going to do one stitch all the way around, and you should still have 15 stitches, okay? So that was our first one. So this is stitch number two, okay? And stitch number three. See, so it's just one in each one all the way around. Stitch number four, okay? And I'm gonna meet, I'll meet you up when I get all the way around my circle, okay? Okay, so I just finished round four. All I did was one stitch all the way around my circle, and as you can see, it's bowling up on me. And so the end, this, the side that is facing me is the right side. That's the side I want outside of the circle. So I'm going to flip my little bowl so it's uh, turning, uh, bending, or curving, curving <laughs> the other direction. Okay, see that? Okay, so now we're going to start decreasing. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take my stitch marker out, and then we're going to decrease. It says single double, single crochet decrease in the next stitch. Okay, so that means um, I'm going to be doing an invisible decrease. Okay, so the way you do the invisible decrease, let me get up closer to the camera here. You're going to insert your hook into the front loop only of the next stitch. Okay, that's the first stitch of the round. And then I'm going to kind of twist my hook around and I'm going to go under the front loop only of the next stitch. Okay, and then I'm going to draw my yarn through. And then I'm going to complete my stitch like a regular single crochet. Okay, and that is the first stitch of my round, so I'll go ahead and put the stitch marker there. Okay, and then the next stitch, we're just going to do a regular single crochet. Okay, and then the next two stitches, we're going to do an invisible decrease, just like we did the first one. So insert our hook in the front loop only of the next stitch, curve, uh, uh, 
you know, twist our hook around and get under the front loop only of the next stitch. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops and then finish off, yarn over, pull through two loops just like a regular single crochet, okay? And then the next stitch, we are going to do a regular single crochet, okay? So we're going to keep doing that sequence where you're going to do a decrease over the next two stitches and then a regular single crochet in the next stitch. And then you go do a decrease again and then a regular stitch. And you do it all the way around and you should have, uh, your stitch count will be back to 10 stitches around when we get finished doing that, okay? So I will meet you when I get back to the marker okay okay so I just got to the end of round five and I have uh, at the in, end of this round you should have ten stitches all the way around your circle okay uh, and before going on to round six I'm gonna go ahead and put in my safety eyes okay um, it doesn't have it in the pattern until um, later with the assembly but I'm going to go ahead because I need to uh, get to the inside there to attach the safety eyes so I'm just going to pull out my loop okay and pull my hook out just until I can get the safety eyes in there take my safety eyes and then on my other one that I made I attached the safety eyes between rounds let's see this is round one so one, two, and three. So between rounds two and three, okay, kind of toward the top of the round part of the face. Okay, so I'm going to do that here. There's round one, two, and three. So that means between round two and three would be about here. Okay, so I go ahead and poke my safety eye in there. And then I'm going to uh, put my next one, I'm going to just skip over where, I'll ha where you can see two empty stitches there, okay? So I'm skipping this stitch, skipping this stitch, and in the same round I'm going to stick my eye, that eye, the second eye right there, okay? And then, you, of course, you can play around with the placement of the eyes uh, wherever you feel like you want your eyes to be on yours, okay? Okay, so now I have the eyes where I want them, and I'm going to turn around and go ahead and put the backs of them on. Okay. Push them down there, and then put the other one on. Okay. Okay, now that I got my safety eyes in there, I am going to go ahead and uh, start stuffing my head just a little bit before I do the next round. I'm kind of uh, stuffing as I go because I'll stuff a little bit and then I'll go back and do the next round and then I'll add some more stuffing in there. Okay, so now I'm going to put my hook back into my stitch and pull that down and remove my stitch marker. Okay, so now I have uh, 10 stitches around. Okay, I still have 10 stitches around. Going on to round 6, we're just going to do a decrease, single crochet decrease in each stitch all the way around. So that means we're going to go from 10 stitches down to 5 stitches, okay? So you can either do the first decrease and then put your uh, stitch marker back in, or you can just count the number of decreases that you do, okay? So doing the first one, we're doing it the same way we have been. Go underneath the front loop of the first stitch, and then twist your hook around and go under the front loop of the next stitch, and then complete your single crochet as regular, okay? And I'll go ahead and put my stitch marker there. Okay, so that was uh, decrease number one. Okay, and then now we're going to do, do decreases all the way around. So this would be decrease number two. You'll end up doing it five times. Decrease number three. Okay, so I've done three of them, and I'm going to go ahead and um, get some more yarn. I mean, not yarn, <laughs> stuffing, or what, whatever it is that you're going to be stuffing with and uh, add some more stuffing in there while the hole is bigger, you know, so then you can kind of 
get your finger in there easier. I just do small pieces at a time because I'm trying to shape the head too, you know, uh, that from the outside, uh, the outside shape <laughs> uh, as I'm putting the yarn in there. I mean the stuffing, not the yarn. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Okay, now let's go on to the C. So I did three of the decreases. I need to do two more. So that's my fourth decrease. And then I need to do my last decrease in the last two stitches of the round. Okay, so now we have five stitches around. I'm going to go ahead and take my stitch marker out. Okay, so now at the end of this, which is round six, we are going to fasten off and then uh, stuff the ends into the, into the head. Okay, so to fasten off, I'm going into the first stitch of the ne of the next round, and I'm just going to do a slip stitch to fasten slip stitch <laughs> to fasten it off. Take my scissors, and I don't need a long, very long tail. Okay, pull it, just pull it, pulled it through there. And then I'm going to get my uh, yarn needle, and I'm going to check just to make sure I maybe put just a little bit more stuffing in there. You can kind of use the end of your crochet hook to get it in there. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, take my yarn needle and draw up the hole by inserting under the front loop only of each stitch around and I'm alternating like this one I went from the outside going in and then the next stitch I'm doing the front loop but I'm going to go from the inside going out okay and so I do that all the way around so this will be the outside going in and the inside going out okay and then when you draw it together it will like um, it's like a drawstring, you know, <laughs> like that. And then I'll just weave the tails inside, well, one tail <laughs> into the head. Try to keep that back kind of, uh, back of his head kind of a flat shape there. Okay. And trim off my tail. Take my needle and go inside next to where the tail is, that little t tuft of tail is sticking out. I, if I, if you insert the needle into next of it and then just kind of wiggle the needle back underneath there, it will draw the end of that tail into the inside of the head. <laughs> okay, so there is our head. <laughs> okay, and that last thing we need to make is the tail. So we're going to start with the magic loop again, or not magic loop, <laughs> magic circle. And again, you can uh, chain two and then work in the first chain from the hook if you want to do that. Okay, so the tail is, um, yeah, we're going to make a magic ring, so let me do that. And now we're going to be uh, chaining two because we're going to be making half double crochets. So one and two. So we chain two, and now we're going to do six half double crochets into our ring, okay? So half double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, okay? Now we're going to pull our beginning to tail, tail to cinch up our circle, but don't don't pull it. You don't have to pull it all the way yet. I mean, you just do it so it won't come apart. Uh, and then it says to close this ring. Let's see. I'm sorry. No, it says to slip stitch at the top of the beginning chain two. Okay, um, before you close the ring up altogether. So I'm just going to get my hook and go all the way over to the t the beginning chain two and I'm going to do a slip stitch okay and that's going to bring that side together making it like a cup 
type shape and then we want to go ahead and finish pulling that tail that adjustable ring pull it uh, really tight okay to close it up okay and as I said before the the side that you're looking at is the right side so I always like to poke it uh, so that side is going to be on the outside okay okay just like that okay and the last thing we need to do is chain one and then it says to skip the first three stitches one two and three and in the fourth stitch in the back loop only we're going to do a slip stitch and uh, basically that is the the stitch that is the very opposite from where your hook is at the time at the moment okay because it's halfway around okay and you're going to just twist all around there and get into that the out suit or the back loop only sorry <laughs> and do a slip stitch okay and that's just going to draw your tail uh, closed even more and it's just kind of a, it kind of makes it like an oval type shape okay and then that is it um, as far as the rounds and then now what you're going to do is you're going to chain 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 okay that's it okay now it says to don't fasten off but you want to go ahead and cut your cut about a, a oh about 10 to 12 inches something like that of yarn okay that just is to um, that's going to help with uh, attaching all these things together okay so now we're going to move this yarn out of the way we're done with that uh, now one thing I am going to do is I'm going to pull this up loop up just so I won't lose that stitch and take my hook out and then I'm going to take I want to take this in this beginning tail and I want to go ahead and um, stuff it into into the tail I mean into this cupped piece okay um, this may be a little bit too long I'm gonna cut some of it now I'm just going to um, let's see what I can use the needle maybe <laughs> and just stuff it in there yeah like that okay So that is the tail of our worm. <laughs> it just is kind of ends up being, uh, like I said, kind of a teardrop shape or something. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now I'm going to take my um, discs and bring these back over here. Okay. And we're going to start putting our worm together. Okay. Okay. So you want to arrange your, your, um, little your discs in whatever order you want if you want them random colored or you know if, if you have a certain patterning of colors like if you did I don't know red white and blue you may may want to do red white blue red white blue you know whatever sequence uh, you want or just make it totally random you know or you can do light colors and dark colors or you know whatever you get the idea <laughs> um, Okay, and then just stick them on there however uh, order you want. Let's see, I'll put that at the end. And I'll stick that yellow one in there like that. Okay, just like that. And you want them all facing, you know, the right the right side of the circles. You want them all facing toward what it, what whatever end your head is going to be <laughs> okay okay so now I've got them all in the order that I want them to be in now I'm going to take my crochet hook and I'm going to do this one at a time I'm going to take starting from the back because I want to end up from the tail working toward the head so I'm going to insert my hook into the middle of that ring and I'm going to draw this loop and the chain and everything I want to draw it through okay that ring okay including your your loose tail okay so there's the first one okay and so I'm gonna do that for each one of these until I get them all strung onto this chain just like that okay 
So uh, keep doing that until you get all your discs on the chain and I will be working on mine and I will meet you up when I've got them all strung on there, okay? Okay, so I got all of my discs uh, strung onto the chain that I made, okay? And uh, you, now you want to arrange your discs uh, however snug you want them or if you want them to be a little bit looser. Um, the reason we didn't fasten off the chain is because however thick they are, you just want to make sure that the chain is the top chain is flush to the top of your disc and it looks like I can end up I'm gonna take one of my chains out seems like it's a little bit high like that okay just like that now it's flush to the top of my um, my uh, top disc <laughs> okay now I'm going to fasten off by just running this stitch uh, running my tail through there to fasten it off like that Okay, like that. Okay, now we're going to attach the head by Yarning up our needle here with the tail with this long tail. Okay, and then we're going to um, Go through the back of the head and attach attach it like that. See, I'm going to go through the back of the head and then back down to that chain. And you can pick up a little bit of the threads uh, the, of this first disc, okay, to kind of help um, secure it down just like that. And then go through it again okay and then through a little bit of the disc and through the chain to the other side okay just like that and then I'm going to then now go in back into the head again and I'm just going to hide my my tail by doing a few stitches through the head Just like that. Coming out in different spots like that. And then I'm just going to trim it off. Okay. And then pull that tail into the inside. Okay. So here is my little Romeo. <laughs> there you go. These I, I really enjoy making these. It's so fun and it's a great uh, little scrap buster. <laughs> and I think they're so cute and they would be cute little uh, gifts for children just to have a little worry worm or just a little friend that they can put in their backpack or in their carry in their pocket. I just think they're really cute. And you could even leave them and leave them for like do random acts of kindness and leave them in different places because they're just so cute. For people to find. <laughs> now I have made, this is my third one now. See, I have a whole family of these now. <laughs> and with one of them, I wanted to show you, now this is not part of the, um, the pattern, but I did put a little smile on mine. You could use embroidery thread or you could use uh, something, you know, something thinner than whatever you, you were using. And then just make a little uh, V type shape here to make your little smile, okay? And I think that's a cute little t touch. <laughs> but anyway, that is today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I, like I said, these uh, to me, these are so fun to make. Thank you so much, Joyce, for allowing me to make the tutorial on your pattern. And that's it for today. See you in the next video. Bye.